was excited to moderate this panel because I too have been through some big career transitions. I am the former NASA JPL CIO. My career actually started in the restaurant industry. I started out with an aspiration to be a foreign currency trader. I was starting as an analyst at the bottom of a large consulting program. I have made a lot of big moves and I wouldn't change it for anything. For being the CEO of yourself. An organization uh, become much better and if it's the White House or you know the executive office of the president, why not? People um, can be critical of that concept of following your passions, but I hear it time and time again from some pretty successful people. Someone asked me, are you going to be under the president's desk, you know, fixing his computer? How could I advocate for myself in an interview? Find the things that you have in common with the work that you've done. If you are very humble and you're open to learning and you're honest about what you know and you don't know. I didn't know what an MBA was, and so I just said, I, I need to go and get if one. If you don't ask, then you don't get. Align yourself with those companies that have women as CEOs because they will also um, continue to promote women. Don't go in with a preconceived notion that there is a glass ceiling. It's not that it's a glass ceiling, it's just a reality. A hundred other companies looking to hire women immediately. I love this program as well. I think um, having programs like this uh, to really focus on uh, women, IT, leadership, and you know, advancing more people, I think that's, that's brilliant.